Hey, what's going on guys? Double one eight set shadow here. Set four cosmic mythos has dropped and it's been a few days since the initial release and I had my box opening yesterday, which overall I got some pretty neat stuff. Now, of course, there's still a lot that I had to pick up, so I was busy grabbing singles yesterday. And now we are in Sunday, so we're going to see where prices have fallen. So the way I've broken this down for today's analysis of set four, we're just going to look at the high We're just going to look at the overall set and then we'll take a quick look at how the ultimates and how the leaders are looking. So let's start with the main set where when you look at the Lelouch card, it's listed as a super legendary for the counterpart that you get as a gold right now. So it's also in this list. Already sold for $180, so that's pretty massive. Our biggest legendary in the set right now is Israfil, which is a neutral follower, a deity, and an angel. It is a pretty strong card overall, with very good base stats, and overall, it has a lot going for it. The ability to board wipe as well as heal you, and it even has an evo. Other cards we've got are World Wilder Ginger, which still not sure how that's going to get played. We've got Medusa in here as well. We've got the Super Legendary at $23. Cassiopeia is currently $17 if you want the Super Legendary. Other Super Legendaries we've got, we've got Chimera, we've got Aether in the 15s. Howling Demons also up here. Then we start getting to some more of the collab cards, like C2, which is the counterpart to Cassiopeia. So they will be the same card, just different artworks. Mars is super legendary, is $9 for the Evo right now. Ether dropped a little bit since I bought it yesterday. It's $6.45, so not too much, but <laughs> Giant Chimera and Mars are starting off from five to six. And then we've got a dollar copy for Sybil already. Let's take a look at this one. Damaged? This set just got started and we already got a damaged copy. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. My condolences. Mystic Rings Premium Foil is available for $5 right now. Take a look at the second page. We have Colin, who is the... Who is the... Hey, what do you call it? She is Sybil, basically. So she's the alternate art for Sybil. Cassiopeia is down to $3 right now. The foil of Sukuna, the evolved form of it, has gotten bought out already to the point of $20. Let me see what it's actually been selling for. $10. So we've already had $10 sales on the premium of this card. That's pretty insane. Well, it's a Forest Craft follower. I feel like that happens to almost all of them at this point. Python just because I pulled this thing, $3, ouch. Oh. Deepwood, an Deepwood Anomaly, Anomaly. Well, yeah, we'll have to see if someone can cook up something with that. I'm hoping I can cook up something and hope it works. What else? The regular Anomaly is $2. Zodiac Demon is unfortunately not very much either, given that I pulled one, but to that same point, very easy to pick up if you want it. Dark John is also pretty cheap right now. $2 to start with and a lot of listings available. Yeah, in terms of that, are there any, is there anything with low listings besides that, Sukuna? Because Cassiopeia is at 19, Howling Demon's Evo is at 17. I guess not. So, there's still a lot available. And Venom Fang Medusa is currently at $3 with 27 listings if you want to pick that up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ultimate rares next, where none of them have been bought out. We have a lot of copies on the market at this point. The one that has the lowest amount of listings is Aether of the White Wing at $100 to start, but a market price of almost $79. Israfil and Cassiopeia are the most expensive at $165 and $140. They've been getting bought at... Cassiopeia is closer to $100, while Israfil did sell close to $165. Prime Dragon Keeper is a gold in this set, but it did get an ultimate rare, and it's starting at $84, and it's already sold at $85. Manifang Medusa is starting at $80. Qu 
Gwen is 63, and if you've got Europa, that's still a decent start at $52 right now. Now the leader cards. Remember, this set brings the collab of Code Geass with it. So we have a number of different leaders to select from here. More leaders than ultimate rares when you think about it. C2 is currently the highest in terms of market price, where it's 273.33, and there's only one listing available at 420.69. Then let's see, market price wise, we keep going down the list. We've got Colin, then we've got Lelouch. Lelouch is sitting at 250 for its base, but it sold for 127, while Colin also sold at 127, just a few chain few cents higher. S uh, Suzaku's up here too at 118, 119 basically. Then we've got Kali's Kali up here at 80. Charles, if you want him, is at $60. Shinke is also is up here at 85, while Cornelia is 175. And I'll tell you, from Shinke on, none of these have been bought. We've also got Lorena Gentle Piety, which we don't have the actual card for this yet, but it is $100 right now. Orange Boy Jeremiah is at $50 to start. And finally, the only signed of the leaders, Lelouch, is currently sitting at $600 with four listings, but not a single sell. I was talking about it yesterday in my market watch, but I don't see this card holding at this sort of value. It should likely go down further before we see a sell. I would think so. Now let's go into some other cards for today. Starting with Alice, now that we're moving into set four, we're going to start seeing a decrease in play of Fabled decks overall. Alice has got prices at $28.20 for its base legendary. The base Evo is, or sorry, the Evo is currently $25. The super legendaries are base $45 and $30 respectively, between the base form and the Evo. And then the ultimate rare is at a base of $138 right now. There are a good amount of listings available for each. And as we continue to go along set 4, there isn't very high, there aren't very high chances of this going much higher as people are look, probably looking to sell them now. Another card to keep on your list is Humpty Dumpty. One of the de Fable decks that's likely to continue to see play for a while is going to be Haven Eggburn. And so Humpty Dumpty is still going to see play as we go along. The card itself is not too expensive, 25 cents to start. The Evo's market price is $0.52 cents with a base price of $0.40. Cents. And if you want the promo of the base form, which you got from the Open 8 of Set 3, that's $1.50 to start, two eighty one market price, 19 listings overall. The card is still readily available, and if you do want to upgrade it, not too bad. Valiant Fencer is... Heroes are probably going to see more play in Set 4, and we'll see just how they end up getting built between this and the Arthurian base decks. Valiant Fencer is still in the $20 range for its base form. And if you want the Super Legendary, the price difference is not too bad. About $5. 22 versus 27.50. The Evo is currently $5, so it's actually been moving up in value. And the Super Legendary of the Evo is currently at 10.50 base with a market price of $9.96. The foil of Actress Farah is still high in price, despite the, despite the inevitable move away from most Fable decks. We're looking at $15 for the base right now, and it has sold recently for $17, but only one copy. Before that, it was back in March, where it was still selling for $15 to $20. But available listings start at $15 and progressively move their way up to $17 and $20. So there are more listings around $15. And, I mean... We shouldn't see as many of these get played, so I feel like inevitably more people are going to want to try and sell this. Mr. Heinlein Shadow Mage is a card from set 3 that I want to talk about, as I feel it may, be, may end up getting overlooked given the giant chimera builds that we are likely to see with set 4. Now it's a silver, so it's not too expensive to pick up. 17 cents base price with a market price of 23 
cents and then the foils currently around two dollars the market price is closer to 250 and this card is definitely good to play in giant chimera for its mill just hope you don't mill all your giant chimeras because then you lose your win condition Marazensky, there has been high anticipation of this card's use during set 4 with the improvement of Necrocharge based decks, but prices are not reflecting that right now. They are higher than when Marazensky was first released, where the base legendary is $12 and the super legendary is lower right now, $9. Market prices are also lower on the super legendary for the base form. The Evo is the reverse though, where it's less than a dollar to pick up the regular one, and the Super Legendary is $4.50 right now. The signs are $116, basically, and then $70 between the base form and the Evo. We'll have to see where it goes. Personally, I don't feel like it'll see as much play as people intend to think, at least from the way that I've been play testing it, but that's just me. In any case, the price has dropped since the initial hype, so we'll see where it goes. One other foil to keep your eye on is Mati Kanatonhäuser, which is the amulet destroyer from Umamusume for Abysscraft. Because right now the price of this is about $2, which has dropped off from its $3 market price from a while back. But... Given that Leonidas is still likely to see play, there may be players teching this here and there, and there are listings at 177 for the most part, and then they eventually move up to 2 and $3 again. So just keep your eye on it. It may go up a little bit more in price. Cerberus is also up here for all the new Abyss stuff that we can get. There are overall three decks that you can anticipate to see play, which I believe all three of them can run Cerberus in them. So Cerberus is looking at about eleven fifty for its base price. And then if you want the Evo, that's still really easy to pick up. $1.41 is the base price there. The Super Legendaries are much lower than their market price. Well, the base form is much lower than its market price. $25 base. I'm actually curious now what, where, what the listings are looking like. Yeah. Three listings for Cerberus at 25 to 26. The Super Legendary of the Evo is $14.50 to $15. And then they're pretty stable amongst the regular Legendaries too. So $12 seems to be the right amount for the base Legendary at this point. Dimension Shifts Foil. I was talking about this card getting bought out some time back, but we have a number of listings back on the market. And nobody's been buying this since the end of March. Market price is currently $6, and lowest listings are now just over $11, outside of a lightly played copy for 9 And we end up going up to 15 Dimension Shift probably won't see as much play with set 4, but a few sets down the line anticipate this card's popularity to increase. So if you do want to pick up premiums, well, given that sellers aren't really budging on the prices yet, we'll have to see what happens there. But maybe $10 is okay to start. Daria Dimensional, which I was covering on Twitter the other day, and I mentioned it during my box opening. This card has increased in value and now has a number of listings back on the market after the Evo got bought out. It's 710 for the Evo with five listings and a market price of 372 while the base legendary is at 670 base price and a market price of 583. Daria is used with the Giant Chimera build, and then when it comes to the super legendaries, both of them are under their market prices, but they're pretty aligned around $19-$20 for their base right now. So if you're looking for Dark Giant Chimera builds, Daria is moving pretty readily right now. Rose Deer has been going up and down in value for its premium foil. And in Elephant Combo, you do see decks that play it. Right now, the base price for the foil is $3.23 with a market price of $3.42. And players have been buying this one more recently, just over $3. And otherwise, when you look at the availability, it's $3.23 to... Yeah, we have a number of copies that are basically around four dollars or just under it 
And eventually we move our way back to the $10 rate, which I don't think we've actually seen this sell at that point. So we'll probably just continue to see it sell in the threes. Promo wise, let's take a look at a few things. One is from the new promo set, Aimbling Wraith, the promo version of this card where it's a bronze in set one. But I was surprised that the base price that this is starting out at 1035 is the current low with a market price of $12. Somebody bought this a day ago for $12, three copies, and availability-wise, we're at $10.35 and mostly $12 to $15, so yeah, it's shaping up to be one of the more expensive promos to pick up right now, and ultimately a really good card in Aggro Abyss, so I'm not, I think it should end up going down regardless as most of the promos have, but it is a good one to have. Now for prize promos again. Leonidas is still up here for 1787 base. It's not moving very high in value for a prize card. 1788, it's been selling, and then it sold at $20. We still have a number of listings available for about 18, 17, and eventually it moves back up. I keep forgetting to decrease my price on this. Oh, oh well. Yeah. Anyway, so that's still there. And then the other one I do want to talk about, though, is Silver Bolt, which with Elephant Combo, Silver Bolt's probably going to see more play than usual. And we are low on listings on it right now. Two listings overall where it's been selling for $9 to $11, and the market price is $11.92. There are two listings available starting at $25 and then to $30 but we haven't really seen Silver Bolt sell that high. Is this going to be the format where it does? Maybe. But if it doesn't sell at this point here, I feel like this is the last grasp for Silver Bolt to maintain any semblance of value at this point. And finally, if you want a copy of the prize Bahamut card for BSF 2024, there's one available for $1,000 right now. So just want everyone to be aware of that. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys later.